Hello, my name is Tesman for figurines and today we're reviewing very very cute bootleg keychains. I used to have far more of these uh, but uh, over time I did sell them off. Uh, I bought them in a very cheap book. Uh, there was uh, Princess Serenity, Sailor Moon, um, Luna, uh, the Dark Lady and uh, Chibi Moon with uh, her Pegasus. I still have uh, this one and uh, back at home I do have a uh, Luna one. Uh, they are very nice. I did bought them with this keychain and they are bootlegs. I think it's fairly obvious with the wider paint job uh, and the, the some colors being off. Regardless, you can get these bootlegs very very cheap and they actually hold up fairly well. Why I did sell off uh, the Sailor Moon ones uh, and the Dark Lady? Well, it's because I didn't really need that many of them and it was way cheaper to just buy a bulk of them than uh, them separately. It was a good choice, they are very nice though. I did notice that there are two types of uh, the, these uh, bootlegs. There are the ones that are, are better made, you can see actually from the the Luna, her moon is supposed to have like uh, small diamonds, but usually uh, on the bootleg they are not. I have seen many with very ugly faces. I got lucky, like the face actually is uh, on rather nice. The keychain itself looks uh, lovely. Uh, others had uh, good quality as well. You can see the photos here of them. Uh, they look fairly nice, rather lovely. Uh, they did came in with this uh, right away. I did order them like that. Uh, I, there is an option to buy them without the, this chain. If you want to, uh, though, uh, right at the back, you could just buy it with this. They don't stand on their own uh, after all. Um, would I recommend them? Yes, I would. If you're a fan, uh, do get these. Uh, though. Uh, original one shouldn't be that expensive if you want it since they are rather small. That said, there are far more keychains uh, from uh, the Sailor Moon series. Um, do you recommend them as bootlegs? Yeah, they're quite good. For being bootlegs, of course, there are many ugly ones uh, that I'm not gonna talk about here, but uh, this is the one I have. There are several others that I do think of uh, buying. Since they look very nice, I might do that and review their quality in the videos, uh, probably upcoming videos in the future. So if you would like to see them, uh, do like this video, do subscribe, and uh, hopefully I will review them sooner or later. <laughs> Regardless, uh, what I would like to mention, if you want to use these kind of figurines for any kind of custom making, look, now I have seen people make uh, like... Uh, uh, like covers for their phones with these kind of figures, do get a bootleg because spending money on an original one is kind of dumb, especially since uh, well, you, if you're using it for a phone cover, they might not fall apart, it might get damaged, so just use these, uh, the bootleg ones, far less pain when they break, you know? Uh, and they do look okay. It's actually worth uh, the pennies that are, you know, cost uh, there. Um, you could you can get them with a the box, though they do cost a little bit more. A little bit more, it's like around 8 euros uh, with the box. Uh, without a box, you can get them for around 4 3 euros without a box. Though uh, those for 3 euros have a bit lesser quality, so I wouldn't recommend getting those. Just, if, you, if you're gonna use them for non-custom stuff, then don't get them. If you wanna paint, paint them, do any kind of custom stuff with them, do get them. They're very, very tiny. They're not like Nendoroids or any kind of others that live far more closer to the Petites. And uh, yeah, nice quality. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing them. And uh, I do hope that they do bring up some ideas for you guys to how to use them. Regardless, uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.